How did I get here and why does my butt hurt? And good morning everybody. Start every morning off with a hot cup of coffee. Actually, the first thing I do is feed Jack. Like literally the first thing I do before I even make coffee is feed Jack's his morning food. And on new video days, I'll be in here in my office and I spend at least an hour, sometimes two hours, responding uh, to you guys, to my subscribers who are commenting on the newest videos. So I'm, I'm writing back to you and I'm, I'm interacting for at least an hour, sometimes even more than that before I even hit the road. Many people know that when I first wake up is the best time that we can uh, chat on YouTube. So today, have a very, very, very fun day planned. And I'm so glad you're with me. Grab a seat. We'll go on a, a fun little trip today. Do you know what these actually are though? This is my third time finding one of these futuristic homes. This is the first one I've actually been able to go inside though. All the other ones were kind of boarded up. This one actually has a, a floor that works with a bunch of graffiti in it and it's maintained on the outside. So yeah, this is definitely uh, pretty quirky, pretty different. I'm in an alien saucer and people would buy these and, and live in them. They'd put them on their property and live in these things. Straight out of a sci-fi movie, right? Yes, and so this is what it night. looks like at night, all the lights back and forth. Too bad we, we missed it and got it in the daytime though. That would be cool at night. Thanks for letting me see that, bud. No problem. It's fun though. I don't get to see too many of these, you know, really complete and saved like that. I'd love to see what the lighting looks like at night because there's power out here. So this thing would be like lit up green. <laughs> It'd be kind of fun. Never know what you're going to find on back roads. Let's stick to back roads today and see what else kind of quirky we can find as we head on north. All right, here we go. But first, breakfast actually i guess it's lunch because it's 11 o'clock went with arby's i always get a uh, cheddar cheese added to my my roast beef just uh gives it a little more punch a little more flavor gotta have the health fries and just get a load of that guys that's just you would not like it because it's delicious Oh, and also, you know, this, yeah, I use my workstation for eating. I, you know, I eat my meals in five or 10 minutes. It's not that big a deal. Obviously, I don't miss the dinette at all. And uh, it's nice to have a table and a chair for eating. I don't have to multitask and watch TV, but um, yeah. Can I help the little kitty? The, the tiny little kitty? Does he need anything? Well, I like roast beef, Dad. I could help you with it, man. Yeah. One tiny little piece. Just a, just a tiny little piece. You like it? It's weird, huh? There's no cheese on that piece. Is that pretty good then? You're right, Dad, it is delicious. Um, I stumbled randomly upon a hot rod show here in downtown. Bunch of cars and awesomeness. <gasps> but look at this teal 55 Bel Air. Jeez, purdy. Oh, that's a nice Mustang there. Oh, I see my car though. That's a beautiful Mustang. But oh man, that roast beef went right through me. I'm looking for a bathroom around here. Okay, this is strange and awkward for me too. The restroom is in here. Yeah, Let's try it out here. What the heck, Sulphur Springs? Are you kidding me? <laughs> they built a bathroom out of glass. Like, Look at this. Everybody's, it feels like they're staring at me. Look, there's the toilet. Oh crap, somebody's coming. Look, look. <laughs> Why would you do this? 
Just because you can sulfur springs doesn't mean you should. Oh, this is terrifying. Could you sit on that toilet with people just staring at you, watching you go to the bathroom? It is a one-way screen, right? Like we saw it, it looked like a mirror on the outside, right? Oh, that's just too creepy. Why would you do this? Quirky, okay, I'll give you that. I couldn't go to the bathroom, I gotta find another bathroom. Gotta love it when you're not even expecting it, just a random Saturday hot rod show, yeah? Here's a 61 Ram side. Look at the, the gate that you get in. That's yeah. nice. You guys ever see these on the road? Well, you can exchange books wherever you're at on the road. There's a, a website, Little Free Library. Yeah. I used my own bathroom. I really had to go. Holy cow! Don't tell him I had roast beef. He might get angry. She might get angry. Actually, it's holy cows, plural. There's two big Betsy's. Bigger than my RV. That's cow butt, and that's more cow butt. I can't believe it, but the Southwest Dairy Museum is closed on Saturdays when it's 70 degrees on Saturday. <laughs> of course, did, didn't see that one coming. You know, usually it's only up north that everything closes despite the weather, just, you know, because it's the winter season coming. Now, even down here in, in Texas, in, in the south, it's, uh, they, they close up on a perfectly good Saturday. That's a bummer. I would have taken you guys in there if they were open, but it's all right. Well, I'm going to continue on this same route of kind of getting up towards St. Louis, but I want to I camp one more time in Texas because my next video will be getting out of Texas already in the uh, northeast corner of the state. So going to look on uh, freecampsites.net and see if I can locate a nice campground, maybe even by water. I don't know. I'll see what's available. Let you know when we get there. Man Jax, did you find us a good campsite? Good campground to go to? All right, man, my little Tom Tom Navigator. We'll go where you want to go. What a truly fantastic way to exit Texas 2019. Simply beautiful. It was a good nine miles off of where I was going, so I'm going to spend two nights out here, actually. Won't be doing much tomorrow except Jax and I relaxing pretty much. And I know I missed a lot of my Texas friends, but this was just a short little spurt down here. It wasn't even originally planned through Route 66 except Amarillo, which I didn't even get to. But I'll be back. I'll be back in the first half of uh, 2020. So remind me again, because I, I look forward to spending this winter in Texas. Really, really looking forward to it. But it's just so pretty out here, man. Man. Y'all take care. Jackson, I'll see you in a, in, in a few days. Bye, guys.